show you guys basically how to use Camtasia Studios 5. Um, well, actually, I'm using Camtasia Studios 5, but um, uh, uh, the, uh, the older versions of Camtasia Studios also work uh, with this. So, yeah. Um, I'm just going to um, use this uh, videotape right here. Um, uh, this is a test that I, I was trying to record something and I messed up. So, this is what I'm going to use. Um, first off, a lot of people have asked me how I zoom in in my in all my videos, and the answer is simple. All you have to do is click this button right here, apply smart focus. Click on it and click yes, and it automatically zooms in for you. If you want to edit um, the smart focus, like if you want to edit the um, like if you want to edit when it zooms in and where it zooms in, right here. This is all the places where it zooms in, and you could add new places where it zooms in, and, and you could remove the places that it decided to zoom in. It automatically decides where it should zoom in for you. Okay, another thing that uh, comes in handy for uh, when using Camtasia Studios is, um, let me finish this, okay, is audio enhancements. Uh, when you click on it, I, I usually click on even out volume levels and click OK. That way, if there's a big noise like a screeching noise or something that happened by accident in your vi video, it like tones it out a little so it doesn't sound that bad. Another thing is transitions right here. Transitions, um, let's say you, you want to put a couple videos together or you want to edit out a video so it's um, like so you put parts of it together. And um, transitions, what it does in the preview right here, if you click on one and press play, oops, right here, it that's what it does right here. It does like a little windmill thing, and there's different types of trans transitions. Um, so when you want to change from one scene to another, you could use these transitions to give you guys an extra um, cool effect for it. So yeah. And another thing that I like to do uh, when doing this is captions. If these come in handy, for example, if you don't have a microphone, you could do captions to put it in your video. Okay, so let's say you're done, you like your video, and th you could. Uh, th those are the couple things that I like to do while editing out my video. So uh, uh, let's say you're done and uh, you like your video the way it is. It, when you want to put it on YouTube, click produce video as uh, click on custom production settings click next and be sure to make it a WMV format because that's the easiest um, format to that to work with and just keep pressing next none of this matters and then once you get to this page click on custom size and put the width to 320 and the height to 240 and um, this basically what 300 the width uh, being 320 and the height being 300 240 does is this is basically the size of the YouTube video box. So you want your video to fit in there, don't you? Well, obviously you do. So um, this is the width and the height you need to put in order to put your videos on YouTube. Then once you're done, just click next. None of this matters really. You could just mess around with it, but I rather not. And production name, I'm just gonna put test or test testing whatever and be sure to choose the folder that you the output folder that you want to put it on after it does that and just click finish and it should start rendering your project once it gets to the end or um, the video that you made would be in the output folder that you selected and all you have to do is um, upload that video to YouTube and you're done Okay, so it's almost done. Okay, 100%. Now, when it's done, something like this should pop up. Now, just press finish. And if you want, exit out of Camtasia Studios. But, um, you don't have to. So, I'm just going to exit out. Okay, after you're done, go check the file to see if it worked which it should, but <clears throat> you never know. So I'll just open up my document so I can go into the Camtasia Studios file. 
and right over here testing double click on its folder and the video is right here well so yeah, there it is so now that you've seen that the video is actually there open up um, your internet browser and upload it to YouTube Find it. Gotta find it again. And there you have it. Now just press upload video, and the video should upload. And that's how that's how it is. And if you guys have any trouble with this, just um, message me on my YouTube account, um, or uh, uh, contact me with my website at textforcombat.co.nr. And I will help you step by step through the whole process all over again so you guys could get your video up on YouTube. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys learned something today and goodbye.